What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Yeah, I just bought something. Bone conduction headphones, but these ones are a little bit different. They're not Bluetooth wireless. They are wired. And that's because I wanted them wired, and I want to try them out. Basically, what I was doing, I was kind of doing a little podcasting. And what I realized is that uh, if I wanted to listen to audio while I was doing it, uh, when I have headphones on, it kind of blocks out everything. And, you know, I can't hear if uh, I'm getting alerts on my phone or you know, on the computer or wherever. And, you know, sometimes you just kind of can't hear your voice. Cover your ears up and talk, right? It's a little weird. And I was like um, taking off the headphones, kind of putting one ear on and taking one pad off. And I was thinking, well, this is kind of silly. If I had bone conduction headphones, then I wouldn't have any obstruction on my ears. I could still listen and get uh, any audio feedback and, you know, audio cues from the the computer if I needed to uh, hear them, but also, you know, just be able to carry on a conversation and talk into the mic and, and whatnot and, um, you know, basically monitor my audio levels. Now, uh, I picked this one up. This one is by a company called, I don't know, doesn't really say, whatever, uh, just says stereo bone conduction. Now, I wanna show you that it comes with a couple of foam earplugs. Take those to the range. It also comes with a micro USB cable. It comes with a little velour drawstring bag, which is great, because I'm gonna be toting these around when I go on uh, the road. And then here are the bone conduction headphones themselves. And as you can see here, they look just like every bone conduction headphone we've ever checked out here. So, they have a pretty cool little green strip. They're kind of a little bit of a rubberized plastic. Pretty hard. There's no <clears throat> adjustment, you know, there's no rubber strap in here. So uh, I would also say it doesn't seem like really big. Now I have a big head, I just tried them on and they seem to work. Um, then you have black plastic here. I don't know what this little smooth spot on the back is about. The cord only attaches here on the left side. As you can see, it's kind of um, angle down on this nipple and then you have a pretty big loop that goes over the ear and then the pad which is also kind of this fluorescent green yellow uh, what's also kind of cool about these is that they're usually round but this has a cutout so as to not interfere I think with your ear your ear hole um, so a little flexible all around then if we run down the cord here, we have an inline controller with a little clip on the back. So that's kind of nice. You can clip it on your shirt if you need to. Again, some more neon highlights. Uh, right here is where on this side, we have a little door where we have the micro USB for charging this up. So there's gotta be an onboard battery. We have a positive and minus sign there for volume control, I'm sure. We have a little button right here, that's power button. And then on that side, we don't have anything. And then running down here, we've got another two and a half feet or so to a three and a half millimeter jack. Now, I do think this needs to be on in order to work because a lot of power is required for this bad boy. So I'm just holding down the button and now I'm getting a little blue uh, flashing light there. So let's go ahead and plug this on in. I've got my iPad Pro here, which actually has a headphone jack, which I think we need. Uh, as I'm putting this on, I will tell you that it's a little bit tight as it's gonna be a little hard to see but because this is pretty narrow it's it's um, pressing a little bit on the back of my head here it does fit around and I'm not saying that it's uncomfortable by any means but if this were a little more flexible it might uh, fit the shape of my head just a little bit better than it does and I will say that the wired bone conduction is a lot lot cheaper than the Bluetooth bone conduction now, I'm just gonna play some music here oh my gosh okay you can see the little light on here and it's really bright it seems that the tap moves the song back so it's rewind so I'm gonna hold it down and that is volume control so holding the positive or negative button is volume control I'm gonna turn it down even a little more. That, that was way louder than I thought. I am assuming you could hear some of that. Listen to a little Nicky Jam, yeah. It's always funny because it buzzes a little bit. That's just the nature of bone conduction. Um, I'm not sure if this is a play pause. I'm gonna try that. And it is. So this power button, you hold it uh, to power it on, you hold it to power it off, but it's also 
Play pause. Oh, Nikki Jam, yeah! And it kind of flashes a little bit. Now, I haven't plugged this in, so it did come with a little bit of charge. Uh, I will say that if you're looking for really good, uh, high fidelity audio quality, this is not gonna work, right? I mean, this is not what you wanna really listen to music with, but if you're jogging, you just want that beat, right? It, everything sounds a little muffled. That's just the nature of bone conduction as it vibrates your bones. But, I mean, listening to music, it's not like knowing that it's bone conduction. I'm not like, I can't listen to this. This is worthless. If I'm working out, running, jogging, being active, and want to keep my ear canals open to take in what's around me and stay safer, this is a great way to go. And you can just plug it right in. Now, if you're listening to just audio um, and you just need like the information, say it's a podcast, it's just spoken word, or if you've got these plugged into a computer so that you can hear you know, the chimes when an instant message comes in or whatnot, I think this is perfect. And that's what I need it for. And uh, so I think this is gonna work great. Uh, and it's gonna keep me, you know, able, it's gonna allow me to continue to have a conversation with people around me and also monitor my audio levels, which is exactly what I wanted. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. Uh, maybe just throw in another song here just to, yeah. So anyway, I think this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, check it out, I'll put a link to it in the description. This was uh, one of the cheaper ones that I found and seems to work great. So I'm gonna plug this in, charge it up and use the heck out of this thing for a while. Link is in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.